Everyone's in agreement here at the Green Pan Kitchen that all year long, risotto is one of our favorite dishes. But during the fall, the butternut squash version kind of has a special place in our heart. So I'm gonna show you how to make a perfect one today using our everyday pan from the Valencia Pro Collection. We're gonna use the butternut squash in two ways. Half of it we're gonna mash up and some of it we're gonna save to have beautiful cubes kind of to fold through at the end. The big thing here is we just want them to get cooked all the way through, but also have a really good browning and caramelization. The everyday pan is perfect for this is because of the nice wide flat bottom. It's gonna allow us to get really good searing on our butternut squash now and also make it for really easy stirring later on. I'm gonna season the squash a little bit with some salt and with some pepper. This is exactly what we're looking for. Our squash is fully cooked and you can see all of this deep brown searing. About a third of it, I'm gonna put in my larger bowl to mash. You could also do this in a little food processor if you wanted to. And the remaining two thirds, we're gonna set aside in a separate bowl. So with the squash done, we've gotta talk risotto method. First thing is, we've gotta have some warm stock. So I've got mine simmering away here in my Valencia Pro saucepan. You have to have the right rice for risotto. Arborio, Carnaroli are two traditional Italian style rices. They're short grain rice, which is gonna release a lot of starch and that's gonna give us the right creaminess to our risotto. So I'm gonna take my eight inch chef knife here and finely dice my onions. What we wanna look for here is maybe about like a half a cup or so of onions. While I'm chopping up our onions, I'm gonna take a couple of tablespoons of butter and just let it start melting down in our everyday pan. Chop it up really nice and fine, just like that. Start with just the onions. It's only gonna take about a minute or two, depending on your exact heat, to get the onions where we want them. You can see how they've softened up a little bit. And then I'm gonna add in my garlic. So I'm just gonna cook this garlic until it really perfumes the kitchen and you smell it just kind of filling up your whole house. Just a pinch of salt here. For six to eight people, about a cup, cup and a half or so of rice is gonna be perfect. Even though we call it toasting our rice, we're not looking for any sort of color on these. By cooking them down a little bit like this, it's gonna give some better flavor to the rice. And it's also gonna change the texture and get it ready to release a lot of starch when we go ahead and put our stock in. And my rice looks exactly how I want it to look. It's kind of translucent on the outside. We're ready for our stock. You wanna add just enough stock so the rice shouldn't be peeking out the top of the stock. It should just be like a little lid kind of over the top of the rice. So every time you add in the stock, just make sure you give it a nice stir. Now we want it to be simmering away nicely until our rice is cooked. I'm gonna do a little bit of sage for those beautiful kind of like fall flavors. And I'm gonna add in a little bit of parsley for freshness. The sage can go in now though, because it'll help cook it down just a little bit. First things first, we're gonna add in our mashed butternut squash and stir that through. After our puree, we're gonna add in our diced squash. And if you wanna measure Parmesan at home, you go ahead. I'm just gonna grab a couple handfuls here. This is too thick. What we want is that if we pull the rice back on the bottom of the pan like this, it's thick enough that you can see the bottom, but it should be thin enough that it flows back together and closes up just in a second or two. So I'm gonna add a little bit more stock here. One more little drag and drop here with my silicone spatula. That's perfect. I love this risotto. All right, fresh parsley in. And that's it. That's how you make a perfect risotto, no matter the season. If you love this recipe, you're looking for more fall inspiration, please head on over to our website. Check out our blog, The Cook's Journal. Me and the crew have put together an amazing amount of fall recipes that I know you're gonna love cooking all season long. Go check it out.